banana space. So this is a new tape, and uh, if I repeat myself, so be it. Um, like I said before, you're going to want to cut this piece off, you're going to want to take the middle piece and throw it away, and you're going to want this end piece, and put it all together, and this is what it's like. Like I said, cut it off right on top. Here's the blade. See where it flanges out. You're going to cut that off. Right where it's flanged at. All the way down. Straight cut. And what you're going to do with this, after you get through making these, is you're going to want to cut it right here. And you want to get, and get your pop rib nut and glue a pop rib nut on it. Pretty easy. And our saber is almost complete. We got top red button, bottom red button. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our film canister on top. And since the button on the inside is in the way, the film canister will not fit flush all the way down on this. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to cut the film canister just a little bit with a razor blade. I cut a little V-shaped cut ready on the right. Now let me get this closer. Show you what I'm going to do. Take this here. I'm going to cut it right on the end. so that it can pass the switch. This is what it looks like. Cut. Now we're going to do the same thing the other side, but we're not going to cut it as far. This is cut, I don't know how many inches, probably half an inch, but we're going to cut exactly opposite on the other side just a little bit. Not too much. Like I said before, this is for the switches. But this will not fit all the way inside the ear part we just made if you don't cut it. Alright, we're going to take this and we're going to put, put the part that we cut the most on top. Slide right down all the way. See how thick? I looked at the previous tape that I made before, and I know it's like this a lot of merry goes and merry habits. So you can email me and let me know how many times I said that. But I'm kind of nervous, I'm not a movie star. So all right, I get I use a uh, black and decker wizard to make my two holes in the side here for my recharging pins, and I also drill through the middle here so I can stick my wood screw inside. All right, I'm gonna first drill the hole for my wood screw because I want these recharging pins to be pretty even and in the middle. You can use a nail or a pin to make your holes if you want. But this seems to work a much easier for me. Batteries actually kind of dead. All right, I use the same wood screw that I use for my pins. Like I said, they come in 36. So, so all I gotta do is screw this right in the middle. I'll get my trusty. 50 cent screwdriver I just bought at the hardware store today. 
Good to say. Push a little bit while you're turning. There you go. I said there you go again. All right. This bottom of it. The screws that. Take my wizard. I'm gonna cut two holes in this circle. I'm gonna cut two holes in the other circle. And I'm gonna use my gold pack that we cut in half. Put them inside. Get your needle nose pliers. And you're going to want to put the half that's cut towards the middle. You have to push it down a little bit. One. You're going to want to put the cut part that you cut in half right in the middle. All right. The new charging pins or the tacks. Side. Yeah, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Do my holes, leave them in the middle. And what I do to hold the tacks together, I get that steel putty, and I'm gonna put a, a gunk of it right there, right where the tacks are at, and I'm also gonna put a little bit in the screw to hold the screw in place. All right. Putty, lock yourself a piece, mix up with your fingers. Now, if you get some of this on the saber or get a little glue in your saber, I usually use a good rag and some rubbing alcohol to take it off. I try not to. Use my razor blade and cut the glue off. But actually, alcohol works better. Gives it a good shine. Take this. Put it right on the inside. Push down. Smooth it out. Spread it around a little bit. Get it around that middle screw also. You can tell this stuff is going to start to harden up because it gets a little warm. Alright, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And we'll be back when I'm done with the other side. What I did is I applied both my tacks on each side. I painted them silver because like I said before, they're gold. I put in my uh, putty. I wish I had a light to show you, but I can't. Put it in this side with the tacks at, put it in that side, put it right on top. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our film canister lid and we're going to put it right on top. We're going to push it down until it gets about where the putty's at. Um, you got to get this just right. 
or it's going to slide to the right, it's going to slide to the left. Take some time. But we'll be back after I do this. What it is, I put my film canister lid inside here. Um, you don't want to push it down too far. So what I did is I measured, <coughs> after I pushed it down, my eye, I measured it. And it's about half an inch. So now you're, what you're going to do is you want to get, get your uh, five minute epoxy. And you're going to go around the edges of this. And after I do this and let it dry for a little bit, I'm going to get some black testers um, model paint. So I guess all together you're going to want silver, red, and black testers paint to make uh, these replicas. Pull some brushes and uh, some thinner brushes so I can use some brushes the next time you want to make these. So let me get my five minute epoxy right now and I'm going to trim it around the edge of it. And uh, I'll show you that real quick after this. And then I'm going to paint it. And we're going to put our faucet piece on top. I got it with me. I just bought it at the hardware store yesterday. So I know exactly what the part number is or what to get. And you know exactly what to get. Now I got my glue right around the edges. I didn't put it in the middle yet. But I got it right around the edges of the film canister. Uh, now, I know you're dying for me to say this, so here I go. There you have it. See it? There you go. There you have it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to paint the inside of it black. Get flat black or uh, shiny black. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> and then after that, if I paint it black, I'll show you what it looks like, and we're going to get our faucet in. Alright, we're going to let this dry a little bit. What I did, like I said before, I epoxy the inside of the film canister top. And I got some black testers paint, and I painted the inside. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. It's still a little sticky. But... We're going to take a little intermission here, and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do next to this, but first, let's this up straight. About two years ago, I bought ten boxes. Now, if you recognize this box, these are the old Hasbro toy of the Darth Vader lightsaber. Now, this is all I have left out of 10 boxes. Because what I was doing to make my working lightsaber is what my one video is going to be, or another video is going to be, is that I would grab, I would grab Darth Vader lightsaber. As you can see, this is still fresh in the box. It has not been opened. And like a dumb butt, like I was, I would take these apart and I would take out the electronics on the inside and I would make myself a working gray flex. And when I was done with them, after taking the electronics out, I left my, I would let my son play with them, you know, beat them around the house, beat the crap out of whatever he can find. And he loved it. Then I found five boxes of the Luke Skywalker. I did the same thing. I took the electronics out. And then I made my working lightsaber. Now, I'm glad I, I still have three Darth Vader's left, one Luke Skywalker left. But then lo and behold, Star Wars Episode 1 came out. And the only ones I have left are two. Obi-Wan's. Now, I never took apart the Obi-Wan's because I knew how r rare they were. But the Qui-Gon Jinn's I did take apart. And the difference between the newer lightsabers and the older lightsabers 
and that these are more um, better to work with than these because there's few parts that are separate on these than these. Um, it's much more compact to work with. So, since we're all out of the Qui-Gon Jinns, you can hardly find any Obi-Wans. You definitely can't find no more Luke's since you want to spend $25 a piece on eBay for them. Darth Vader's, which I have about, I'd say about three left here. There's no way I'm going to take these apart. I'm going to keep these for my kid and uh, grow up and maybe someday they'll be worth a lot of money and I can maybe put them into college or something. But Star Wars 2 came out. What do we have here? We got the new Anakin. Now the electronics are still the same as the uh, uh, Star Wars ones. I'm glad Hasbro or whoever took over Hasbro, I think it was, was it Kenner? I think Kenner was Hasbro or vice versa, who knows. But go get yourself the Toys R Us. These are still 20 bucks a piece. You can either use the Obi Wans or you can use the Anakin, so don't matter which. But again, one might be rarer than the other, who knows? I don't know yet. Just like with the Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker that I have here. You don't know how rare a toy is going to be until they don't make them no more. That was my mistake. So, my 10 cases of darts that are now gone, I have only a few left. My 5 cases of roots, which I only have one left. Um, right now I can smack myself in the face, but I'm not going to do that. Um, the Star Wars obi one I uh, was able to get through Kmart. So, seems like the only rare ones are always at Kmart. But, since Kmart is, it might be going out of business pretty soon. Who knows what's going on, but you sure can't find them no more unless you find them on eBay. But I just wanted to show you that and uh, let you know what a dumb butt I was for doing that. Alright, this is it's going to be pretty dry now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my uh, box and then I'm going to tell you what the part number is. And uh, I see I got a fingerprint here, so I'm going to repaint the top of this. That's a big fingerprint too. I'm going to take the top of this, let it dry for a little bit, and now I'm going to get my box in and I'll show you exactly what number or what it looks like. One thing I forgot to show you about these lightsabers I bought is that they're only $9.98 a piece. That's why I bought so many cases of them. Um, to use electronics. But now you can see them on eBay or whoever for $40 to $45 a piece. So if they're $40 a piece and you get about six lightsabers a case, <coughs> that's about $240. So you spend 60 bucks on 240 hours with lightsaber. Now, yeah, you can tell me I was dumb for doing that, but you never know. You never know which toy is going to be rare and which toy is not going to be rare. So, if you see any lightsabers that are on sale for that amount of money, um, I would keep them, stack them, put them in your attic, put them in your cellar, put them where your kids can't find them, save them for a little while. Let them, uh, you know, accumulate money because what I have there is unreal. What I have left, what I did have, you know. So, let me show you what I got. Alright, I got myself a faucet aerator. I can't even pronounce it. A E R A T O R. Alright, now $2.29. Not a lot of money. So, take that baby out, it's usually covered up in tape, keep the gaskets from falling out, cut the tape off, you're going to have some sticky stuff on the side, but that can come off with a rag.
This is what it looks like. So we're going to sink thing. Now there's a big gasket on top, a little gasket on the bottom. Take the little gasket out. I usually save it. My film canister's not even, but I put the big gasket back inside, just like that. Take the lightsaber here, and I'm gonna apply this right on top, just like that. And I'm gonna paint the inside of it blue to give it that uh, special effect. So let me glue this on top, paint it blue, and I'm gonna let it dry, and we'll come back. All right, I glued this on here. And I'm going to let this dry for about five minutes. Hopefully it will dry faster. I'm going to set this over here for a little bit and let it dry. What we're going to do after we let this dry and paint it blue is that we want to get the gluing stuff over with. The grips I always do last because I don't want to mess with the grips after <clears throat> while well, I'm still working on the saber itself. Um, before I apply the grips, I usually rub it down with alcohol. This is what you usually do if you apply anything that's going to stick. So I'm going to add my 3 toggle, toggle bolt on the bottom. And the hole that's through the toggle bolt, I'm going to put uh, an end piece of a pop rib nut. So let me let this dry a little bit. Alright, this is uh, day two of this fantastic Great Flex Replica how to. Um, I painted it blue just now, and I'm going to let this dry. And after I let it dry, I'm going to trim, trim it out around the edges of this. And then I'm going to do a toggle bolt, like I said before. And I'm going to apply my grips, and this baby's done. All right. I get a lot of emails from uh, people who like to make fan films, and uh, they want to know if I can, uh, if they can put a wooden dowel on top. And you can be able to put a wooden dowel on top if it's going to have this um, film canister and the uh, taps. But you can't put a wooden dowel if I leave the film canister out with no taps. Um, I'm going to find a way to somehow to support the sucker without having it being a weapon and the wooden now fly out and, uh, you know, poke the guy wherever he's at. So, well, I think it's looking pretty good. I just checked my uh, eBay auction and unfortunately it only got up to $71. But I've had these go up to about $200. My working ones have gone up to $380. So, once in a while you get lucky, once in a while you don't. <clears throat> um, I do say in my uh, item description that it is uh, a replica Grey Flex. It's not a real Grey Flex. I say it plenty of times in my item description. And uh, I hopefully they get the picture. But, knock on wood, I haven't had any negative feedbacks yet. So, I'm going to put this back. Let it dry. I'm going to give myself a break. Give myself something to eat, because uh, it's been a very long day. And also, I'm going to let you know. All right, I gave myself a little break. Um, this is actually day three of this, so I'll show you what I did. What I did here was I made two pieces of metal. One's a rectangular shape, one's a circle piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the circle piece right on top of this piece of metal. Now I'm going to lay this. I'm going to lay it directly across my rib nut. I'd say about a half an inch to about right here. I'm going to glue it right here. 
So get your five minute epoxy and I'm gonna glue this up and I'm gonna put underneath the heat lamp. And it's getting a little warmer now. No more cold nights. Spring's almost here. So let's start doing this right now. Alright, as you can see I uh, used my five minute epoxy and I glued two pieces together. Got a little glue right here. Um, like I said, you can use alcohol and a, and a rag or something here. You can take that off. But we're going to let this dry over the light, under the light, over under. Now here's all the, here are the grips I made. alcohol dry because we're going to rub this down here with alcohol before we apply these grips. You're definitely going to want to let the alcohol dry before you apply the grips and the grips will not stick and you mess up the, the other side of the double sided sticky tape. And you have to take the old tape off and reapply it and it's a real pain because once the rubber sticks to that tape it sticks. So we got our six grips. We get our toggle bolt, three pack, three sixteenths by by four times four by four. The zinc, get three pieces. They're made by Crown Bolt. Part number zero zero four five four. Now these screws. You know, I was telling you about the replica gray flexes that I, I use these toggle bolts for. Well. This is the head of the screw that comes with the toggle bolts. You know, I can't use those at all. These are the screws that I buy separately. See the difference in the size of the head? That's why I have to buy separate screws. I don't use this at all unless I'm going to assemble something, but the only thing I assemble is this lightsaber so far. So I just get the smaller head. To make the replica right through. So that's a whole totally different video. We'll get to that later. My next VCD. By the way, this VCD is going to be actually three VCDs. And you can only hold, well, my recorder can only hold uh, like 650, 650 megabytes. <clears throat> it won't record to 700. I don't know why. Piece of junk. So. 120 minute tape is uh, two VCDs. Over two VCDs. I had to cut a little bit. And this one's going to be another VCD, so it's going to be three VCDs all together. Alright, I took apart the toggle bolt. I only use this piece right here. What I'm doing is I'm going to get my pop rib nuts here. And do it fast. Uh, what I use this head, so I take the head off. See, Come, pops right out. Take the head off, and I'm gonna glue this on the saber, and I'm gonna take this head, and I'm gonna cover the hole, so it looks like it has that lever effect. Alright, pop rift nuts inside. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for this metal pieces over here to dry a little bit. It's underneath my heat lamp, but it's not gonna take too long now to dry because it's pretty warm tonight. And we'll be back. Alright, well what we did now is we just made our two little pieces, just like on the real gray flex. So, oh. 
right there. Now we're going to assemble our toggle bolt. So what you want to do now, get this back here. take the toggle bolt and put it right on the edge. Push down so you can make a mark into the aluminum tape. You know exactly how far you want your five minute epoxy go. The mark, you can't see it, but clearly to me it says it's right here. So I'm put a little epoxy from here, down to here, here, down to here, and a little bit right here so it can hold this rib nut in place. So I'm going to mix the epoxy and uh, be back. I mixed my epoxy and I made a spot right here. It's not dry yet. And I'm going to get my toggle bolt. I'm going to put the head of the prop rip nut in the hole. If I can do this. Keep that fingers. Okay, it's in there. You want to make it even. Straight across and flat. And we're just going to set this right on top, like so. And the edge is a little bit excess, just wipe that off with your finger. Put it on a rag. See how it's on there? Now we're almost done. All we have to do is apply the grips. It's not dry yet. We're going to apply the grips in certain positions. A little glue on it. It's going to be 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock. 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and uh, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, all the way around. Um, I'm going to put the grips and we're going to edge it out. The edge of the grip is going to go with, on the edge of this clamp, straight down. The other is going to go from this edge, straight down. We're going to do our o'clock positions. I gotta let this dry first. The guy that bit and one on this has one feedback. Um, like I said before, I sold for seventy-one dollars. So if you get a non-paying bidder, which I have a lot, I never give any negatives, but I do get a lot of non-paying bidders. What I do is, if the guy is not paying me within 10 days of making this lightsaber, I just uh, relist it for $85 for the buy it now. And uh, they usually sell within two to three days after I put that buy it now. Um, they sell pretty good during Halloween, during Christmas, um, especially during when a new Star Wars movie is coming out. But since there's only one more coming out, which is usually around May or March 16th or 18th. Um, it's going to be a while since this is March right now. Uh, the other movie is going to come out to next year, so we'll find out how these sell next year. Alright, last but not least, we're going to apply our grips that we made from our wiper blades. Pull off the double sided tape. Now this takes a little practice here. You gotta make sure it's straight. You don't want to push down on the grips all the way just in case you gotta remove and reapply because they're not separated at certain lengths. So
All right, this is how I always apply my first two. I get that long, flat end here. Place not too good. And I start it here. I get the other grip, long, flat end. I start it right here. And I usually eye up this length here. So just keep on going with it. And uh, we'll be back. Alright, I applied all my grips at the right o'clock positions. We got 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Now, if you want, you can mark it wherever you want to mark it at. Um, it took me a few times when I made my first one. But, congratulations. If you go by these directions, um, you just made yourself your very first lightsaber. You made it with your own two hands. Uh, polish it up a little bit, make it nice and shiny. Take the pictures of it at different angles. And start selling these on eBay to make yourself some money. Or to your friends, co-workers, your other stalwart buddies. And my next video is going to be about how to make a working one with a, a box of lightsabers I showed you. You can use the episode 2 ones if you want. You can take apart the electronics and what I do is I fit them on the inside. I use the top button as my activator switch to make that battle crash, battle sound, you know. What I do is turn it on, put a little light bulb on top of it also. Turn on, the light bulb flashes, bang it against your hand, starts making all those funky noises. <coughs> well, here it is, finished product. It's all shined up, ready to go. Now, On the other VCDs, I'm going to show you how to make the replica clamps. That's going to be a, maybe a one or two VCD set. I'm going to show you how to make the working lightsaber. I'm going to show you how to make a neon lightsaber with parts from auto parts store. And uh, that's the end of this video. So I'm pretty sure you're sick and tired of hearing my voice by now. And. Uh, We'll see what other people have to say about this. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you later. It is dark, I now see. You, I will. The rage of the force. A strength flows from the force. Fun are we now? Knowledge and defense never for attack. Or ally is. Do not make one great. Light has gone.